Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous dashboard for your PC. For the one I made I chose to show CPU, memory, network and GPU usage, but you can easily use it to display anything you want. It's really exciting project and as always all hardware, firmware, schematic, 3D models and all other source files are provided to you for free so you can build your own. Let's get started! Now the main component of our project are going to be these four panel meters that we use to display CPU, memory, network and GPU usage. These are off-the-shelf components that we are going to open up and modify a little bit just so we can use them with a microcontroller and a digital to analog converter. So let me show you how these actually look when you get them off the shelf. Here you can see the off-the-shelf panel meter that I got and I'll make sure to add a link to them in the video description below. As you can see, the one I got is marked for 300 volts AC. Now, since we want to power this from a DAC that's getting power supply from VUSB, we will have to modify these guys a little bit. You can see that inside we have some passives, diode to rectify the AC voltage, resistor to limit and scale the current, as well as capacitors to form a filter. These panel meters or galvanometers are actually sensing current. To be more precise, they are sensing magnetic field created by the current through the panel meter's coil. There is a really good Wikipedia article on how these work and I will link it in the video description if you want to learn more. For our project, we will control the current externally, so we can remove all these components and solder back plus and minus leads directly to the terminal. Here is our panel meter looking happy, and since our modification is complete, we can assemble it back into the enclosure. Now it's time to test our panel meter. What you can see here, I have hooked up external power supply to our panel meter, to our positive and negative terminals on the back. Here you can see the difference between increasing the voltage in 10 millivolt steps. Hundred millivolt steps. And also one volt steps. Now that we have modified our panel meters, it's time to pick the brains of our project, the microcontroller. You can select whichever microcontroller or platform you're most comfortable with. Driving these panel meters can be achieved in many different ways, so there is no right or wrong way of doing it as long as you get those dials to move. For my project, I picked STM's 32F103 micro, which you may recognize from blue pill boards, and I used it in combination with microchips MCP42764 channel digital to analog converter. Now, after designing the schematic, laying out the board, sending it to be manufactured, Waiting to get it back and a few hours of terrible soldering, we have everything that we need. We are using USB to provide power as well as talk with the host PC. On the PC side, there is a Python script that is constantly running and measuring CPU, memory, network, GPU usage and sending data to our board over USB. Microcontroller will receive that data and send message to our DAC to adjust voltage in our panel meters. And boom, our dials are showing exactly what PC told us to show. The only thing left is to decide how do you want to package all of these together. These panel meters can be mounted in many different ways and also you can have as many of them as you want. So you can drill a hole in your case to mount them, you can mount them on your desk, put them in your enclosure or do whatever best fits your build and what you're trying to achieve. 
Since I wanted this dashboard to sit on my desk so I can see it whenever I want, for my build I opted to design my own case and then have it 3D printed. This was a lot of fun and it turned out great. That's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all of your support and it does help my channel a lot. Also, I would love to hear what you think about this project, so please leave a comment below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.